Yo, if this works, it's gonna be my new look. Ooh, this is so much gel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have a really exciting video today. I am going to attempt to do something very scary. <laughs> I have a TWA, it's clear, it's obvious. I've made like five million videos about it. And now I'm going to try to step outside of my lane. Usually they tell you stay in your lane, but who listens to those people anyway, you know? Today I'm gonna step out of my lane and try to do, <coughs> at least for me, the coveted TWA low sleek ponytail slash just ponytail in general, like, there's a very viral video going around of this girl with very very short hair and she is like slicking her hair up into like a bun and everybody's like what sorcery like black girls are magic and I mean duh but <laughs> aside from that like I just think that's so fun and interesting and I want to try it I'm laughing at myself from now because I know that if I fail this is just gonna be another fail video that I put on the internet I have a few of them already girl it's a struggle i am excited i really genuinely am i found three videos that are up my alley three videos that i re was really impressed with and i feel like i could actually follow these steps and possibly successfully get a hairstyle like these peeps um and i thought i'd make a video and say it and do the once trendy i tried following like that was a really trendy video i was going around a few months ago and i never did one I should have because I had long hair back then but whatever you know like we just gonna make it harder for ourselves and that's just that so I was really debating between two videos uh, the first one is by Chloe Dosh and she did like a higher sleek ponytail and this girl Dol Dolorian Dolorian Lynn um, she did a low bun using like Molly hair and whoa this video is like, since 2016, I didn't notice that, like, I thought it was like a newer video, but it did really well, it has like 300,000 views, and she did it like two years ago, so, hey girl. <laughs> Today I think I will do DeLorean's video. Oh. Oh, my eyebrows were itching. <laughs> I hate that. So I'm gonna do DeLorean's video, I just really like um, the way that she did it, and I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like I might successfully be able to do it. I feel like I'll be able to do Chloe's method as well. Um, especially because her hair is so short and I'm like shook at how, like, like what, you know? But I can save that for another time. So if you guys want me to do that one as well, I will link it down below so you can check it out. And if you want me to do her technique as well, I'll do it in another video. But for this video, we'll do the low... Uh, Bun. So Delorean is using uh, Molly hair. I am going to be using my extensions. These were once clipping extensions by her given hair But I took the clips off of them so that I could easily just like wrap them around um, If I actually get a low sleep bun. <laughs> I have like a few tracks here And I'll just like attach it to my head when we get to that point um, Because I do not have Molly hair and I feel like these will match my hair well in any case because they're like a 3c texture Thumbs up this video if your nose runs when you do your makeup and why is that like for all my scientists please give me an explanation in the comment section below because it's so like confusing like why is my nose running like what is going on <laughs> all right i'm so scared that i'm gonna fail but let us begin dorian please do not stand me wrong thank you so much that's loud Okay, so, um, yeah, this is what I look like in my natural state. Um, I am just going to be starting off with the tampon. Okay, yeah, we do not have the same hair texture. Um, she has more of, like, a 4B, 4C texture. I have more of a, like, 3C, 4A texture. So, um... I don't know if that's something to be concerned about. I feel like it shouldn't be too bad. Also, I'm just gonna be using gel, because that's all I have, and... Yeah, that's all I have. So I'm really just going to be following her technique, not necessarily her product. A little bit of this Dr. Bronner's coconut oil. I don't use a specific brand. Like, I just I just use whatever coconut oil um, is the cheapest at the store. 
Okay, so she is using coconut oil to start. I believe like she's probably just trying to moisturize her hair. My hair has like, I moisturized my hair this morning because as you can see, my curls are freshly popping. I don't think I need coconut oil or anything because my hair's already moisturized, so I'll skip that part. Do you need Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> so let me just uh, comb out my edges because I did them, like I said this morning, when I styled my hair. So I'm just combing them out. And she's doing her part, I guess, on this side. Um, so I'll do the same thing just because why not? Um, so it looks like she's starting from like here-ish. It's so hard for me to part my, my hair now. It's just difficult. What I really like liked about her tutorial is that her hair was like legitimately like my length, you know? So I felt like I had some kind of hope. So this homegirl hair is doing kind of like a, kind of like curved parts a little bit. So I'm gonna try to mimic that. Hopefully I don't fail, I've never really done a side part like that before my pots are usually like straight okay is that good I hope so and I like a deep side part so that's what I'm really going for and I also like my part a little bit curved and pretty far back See? I feel like it makes it look more natural to me oh she's going far so, yeah. okay sh okay she's going a little far um, I feel like this is good though. I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, she's going all the far. Um, I think this is good. I'm gonna leave it like this. Alright, this is good. This is good. So here I'm just gonna be taking some of my clips and I'm just making sure that I can see my part. Okay, she clipped. And she could be detangling. Now, some people say that you're not supposed to detangle with your ear. It's not wet or whatever, but. I'm detangling because um, I definitely want my hair to be as easy to comb through as possible, especially once I get my gel in there. I don't want to have to be tugging and pulling. Alright, so she says she's detangling. Oh, <laughs> she's detangling, so I'm just going in with a diamond brush as well. Um, especially because my curls are so defined, so I want it to kind of be stretched out a lot. The thing I'm scared about is my hair is not the same length all around to the back, especially it's really, really short. I think that's why I felt more comfortable doing the low bun as opposed to like a high one because to slick the back of my hair would have been really challenging. So now I'm going to take my Eco Styler gel. Um, there's no particular order. You can start from the... Okay, great. So she's using Eco Styler too, and I think she's in the Argan Oil one, as I can see. So I just have a small tub because my hair is short, and I don't really use it in my whole head, so I don't buy the big tubs. But I'm gonna try to see how much of this I could use. Back to the front, I choose to start from the front and more towards my part. Um, I like to make sure that the area around my part is nice and flat. So I'm taking this gel and I'm putting it. I'm just taking handfuls of it. There's no specific amount. Um, okay. I guess I would say a lot for the front. And I'm taking like little sections and putting the gel on the roots in between the sections. So you'll see more once I get to the other side of my head. But I'm taking my diamond brush and just combing through my hair to make sure. Okay, so she is taking the gel in between her hair as well, so not just like um, at the tops, but like all throughout because I guess she just wants her hair to be as sleek as possible. So I'm going to do the same using my little baby done mun. <laughs> that the gel is as evenly distributed as possible and focused mostly on my roots. And you see how easy it was for me to just brush back my hair? That's how I want it. So as you can see, I'm just going in little sections and I'm getting my roots and the ends, especially because my ends- Okay, so far so good with this part of my head. Like, as you can see, it's slick, you know? Slick, like slick, Rick. 
This diamond brush is so annoying. Making sure I apply a generous amount. Okay, she's putting more gel. On my towel. And just like I did on the other side, I'm gonna be taking my diamond brush and combing it through, making sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I just had a thought, I'm gonna use the black castor and flaxseed oil gel for this part just for the like the middle like to get it throughout my hair because she's using gel like in every kind of like area of her head so um i'll use the black castor for that and then i'll go back to the argon to just like slick it down also i already see like some of my hair coming up i don't it smells so good I don't know if you guys could see it. Ooh, this is so much gel. Oh. Yo, if this works, it's gonna be my new look. Y'all think I'm joking. I'm so serious. Any spots? Alright, so she's going through her hair with her Denman brush again, just to like smooth everything down. And just my brush is not very um hard it's more of a soft bristle brush so the comb really helps me um and my arms are getting tired so that's why i made the little uh, strong arm stance um and so here i'm just going to be taking the gel i'm not really putting as much gel as i put in the front and the back because the back of my hair really isn't that hard to manage the hard part for me is laying down my hair in the front Alright, okay, <laughs> so we have something going, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like how I look yet, but you know what, it's a process, just like everything. The, the next thing is that, like, these parts are, like, laying up, so I definitely need to sleep that down with my scarf or something, um, and I'm just putting some argan oil eco styler at the top just to like really make sure it lays down. Oh, so we got a slick, a real slick thing going on here. The only thing that I'm realizing is well, one, I really do not like my part. Like, I think I want to do it over. guys whoa what guys okay i know i broke the like i know i broke the rules but y'all look at my i mean okay ignore it back <laughs> i did not think i would be able to actually do a middle if you guys have been rocking with me for a minute you guys know i used to wear like uh low slick buns with middle parts like all the time right I didn't actually think I'll be able to do this like whoa I am insanely impressed right now I couldn't do the side part like I just my the shape of my face I just didn't love how it looked like it didn't flatter me and now I'm just taking these elastic bands um just some stretchy ones without the little metal thing and I'm taking two and I'm just going to be using my Murray's to just lay down any flyaways that might happen because if I leave it with the gel on I'm gonna have flyaways, like, that's it. And you know, I also love this Murray's because um, the gel, I'm not even gonna hold y'all up, but the gel really does flake after a few days like of sleeping on it and everything, it will flake up, but this Murray's helps that whole entire process. Like, my hair will not start flaking until maybe about the end of the week, like day five. So I think that this is a very, very key point in doing it and also, have really short hair it's gonna slip down those hairs for you so now as you guys can see i'm going to be trying to fit my hair into a little um struggle bun okay so i put the struggle bun in <laughs> like she did and i'm just using some hair clips at the back where i know my hair is gonna like wanna come down honestly 
I'm really shocked. <laughs> I expected this whole tutorial to be such a fail. Like, y'all even know I had no hope in my TWA. Like, I was like, nah, I wouldn't be able to, like, pull this off until, like, December, probably, you know? Even do this, um, that my hair was long enough to fit in a little struggle bun. Same, sis! So I can do this look. So, yeah, I'm just tying it around um, as many times as possible, but, you know, not too tight to where, you know, my head is hurting or anything. Okay, so she's gonna lay her hair down now. I'm really happy about that. Um, I feel like maybe I should do my baby hairs first. Or should I do them after? Okay. I'll do them now. Just because... When my hair, like, if my hair sets in that scarf, my baby hairs are not gonna, like, come out for me to be able to... You know... Sleek them. They're just gonna be... A hot mess. Okay, so these are my baby hairs. They're done. Now I'm gonna put this scarf on it and I'm just gonna let my hair set for probably like 10 15 minutes. Okay, guys, so it's been like about 10 to 15 minutes. So I didn't want to leave it on my head for too long because it's late and I ain't got all that time, you know. So I'm going to take it off now. Moment of truth. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. What is that? What is that? What is that? Y'all, look at my hair. I am literally like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so in that 15 minutes, I decided to do my eyebrows so I can stop scaring you guys. And um, I'm taking my, the shirt off of my head here. And my hair was not dry, so. So she actually recommends sleeping with the scarf one. So actually, I feel like... If I had to do this, like even tonight, I feel like I'll probably sleep with my hair like this with probably the scarf one still um, after I finish filming just to preserve it because girl, I definitely will wear this like out in public. Well, I have to add a ponytail first and then see. <laughs> the only thing is the back still kind of isn't slick, you know, it's like exposing me <laughs> and i just tied it around a couple of times just to make sure that okay so she's gonna add in her molly hair now so i'm gonna wrap these around my little struggle bun thing <laughs> um and yeah so hopefully this goes well Guys, I'm not bald headed no more. <laughs> Guys, I am um, shook it. The DeLorean, you really did that, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a little spin after. I don't even know what the back is looking like. I hope it doesn't look crazy. I think, I feel like I wanna try a bun. Just to see how it looks, you know? Like, you mean to tell me I could have had this <laughs> all the time? So you could literally just like put a woogie on it, turn it into a bun. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay, so this is the back. Y'all, thumbs up this video. First of all, go to DeLorean's video. Girl, girl, where have you been in my life? <laughs> I have a whole low sleek bun on my head right now. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Y'all, I did not come 
to film this video today with like high expectations I really just was like if I make a fool out of myself, then it'll be a funny video. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want me to try the high ponytail like Chloe did. She just put up this tutorial actually like last month. Um, and yeah, like homegirl impressed me. Like you guys need to check out that video because her hair is like shorter than mine. And it's like, whoa. Like she literally did like a high ponytail. But she had like a, like, a real legit ponytail. Um, if I do that video, I'll try to get a ponytail. If I can, then I'll probably just use these extensions and do like a high bun instead. So, what do you guys want? Let me know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this. Let me know what else you guys want me to, to film, to do. And yeah thumbs up this video like i said subscribe for more videos down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up, hurry up. it's taking forever forever